Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today we're going to be talking about exactly what the title says. My top five regrets slash mistakes, depending on what I end up titling the video, that I have from university, college, undergrad. So a couple disclaimers. The first one being this video is not necessarily just for incoming freshmen going into their first year of college. This is for anyone who is still in undergrad. Um, I don't really have experience in any of like graduate school or anything like that, but if you're still an undergrad, I think this video could be helpful for you. And second thing, our disclaimer is, I know we are taught, or it's like a big thing now to say, oh, well, I don't have any regrets in my life. And sure, but, and I really don't either, because I do think that every step that I took along the way got me to where I am right now. And I really like where I am right now. But I'm just saying, if I could do some things over or if I had to do some things over, these are the five things that I would do differently. So stick around and we're going to get into my top five regrets from undergrad. Number five, I guess we'll start from descending order. I would not go to an out-of-state school. Um, as you may know or may not know, I graduated from the University of Louisville, but I'm not from Louisville, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. So how did I end up at the University of Louisville? That is another story for another video. But long story short, I was out of state. I had no connections that made me an in-state resident. So I was definitely paying that out-of-state tuition, or at least my parents were, and my loans were. Anyway, <laughs> so I make this one of my top five mistakes because even though I knew that I was gonna taking out loans and I was gonna have to pay back this money, I guess it really didn't hit me until I got out of school and started working and started realizing, oh wait, they want how much money from me each month to pay back these loans? I'm gonna be spending how long paying these loans back? Yeah, that is not gonna be fun. That is for the birds, but I have to do it. Yeah, the debt that I will be paying back is, I cringe, I cringe at it. When I could have went to school in-state and saved much more money, and even if I would have went locally to community college or the University of Memphis, I would have ended up saving a lot more money um, and probably have a lot less debt than I do now. So think about that before you sign up for those federal student loans because yeah my top four regret would be majoring in something that I wasn't exactly loving or maybe I could edit that and say like not switching my major no really just not majoring in what I wanted to major in um, I majored in sport administration and I minored in communication now, there was a part of me that did really like sports at one point in my life, and I thought I wanted to be a sports reporter. Then I wanted to be, what did I want to be? Um, what are those people? I wanted to be a general manager, then I don't know. But before that, before I even picked a major, I was really into urban development. I wanted to not just do real estate necessarily, but I wanted to do like city planning. And I don't know, kind of do know but I don't really want to get into why um, I didn't end up doing that but it definitely had a lot to do with other people's opinions um, that I valued so I'll just say if you are feeling like you're not really loving your major change it if you are incoming into college and you don't know what you want to major in that's okay don't stress through classes I had people that I knew that would stress through classes and then they end up switching their major to something completely different that they would never have to take in those classes so long story short make sure that you are sure on what you want to major in and if you don't like it and you're not doing it for yourself then that's a sure sign that you're going to get to your junior year second semester and be like well, what did i do or maybe i'm being maybe that's just me okay 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 fine uh yeah that was just me <laughs> My third biggest regret from college would be even considering a committed relationship that wasn't marriage minded. And I add that marriage minded part is because now religiously, I don't 
Um, if I if I was Muslim back when I was in undergrad, I wouldn't have been dating anyway. But since I wasn't, and that's not what I was accustomed to, if I could go back in time, I would not even think about being in a relationship. And it's not even that I just wanted to have fun. If you're happy, great. If that if he, that person is not taking you off your focus and you know supportive of you and you're supportive of them and it's a healthy relationship, stay in it, go for it. But if the bads outweigh the goods and you're stressing more than you're enjoying yourself, let it go. No one is worth the stress, especially when you're already in school and you're trying to find out who you are. If it's stressing you out and you know when someone's stressing you out and you also know when you're not being respected and boundaries are being pushed internally, you know, listen to that voice and drop it. It's not worth it. And honestly, you won't even be thinking about that person in the next year or two or I don't know. I mean, I get it. It would just be a memory in your head. Like, I remember that one guy in college. So any stress from a relationship and that that's not always going to be romantic i'm talking friendships too or anybody really but i mean mostly romantic i that's what that's the thought i had when i made this point but this really can apply to any relationship if you are not happy if they're not adding value to your life let it go by the time you're walking that stage graduating you won't even be worrying about them so why worry now okay okay so my top two regret would be i wish that i would have went to more of those like social events that you know even if they're student-led or um just like a what are they called mixers or whatever i went to them you know in the beginning of my freshman year and you know that's how i met some of my friends at that time and I wish, looking back now, I wish I didn't stop going to them. But there's all kinds of events thrown at you, literally free food, free this, to get you to come and socialize with people. So go do it because this is one of the easiest times to do it because everybody else is there to do that too. And it's not always that you're developing friendships. It could be um, networking. It could be mentors. So you never know who you're going to meet on, at a college mixer social type of thing. And it's nice to meet people outside of a party setting. So if I could go back and do it over, I would go to those things and put myself out there. So that leads into my number one regret from college. Okay. My number one regret from college is not keeping myself open to making new friends. I've learned that you may not come out of college or really any phase of your life with who you started with, but just because, and that's okay, but don't get so comfortable in your friend group and the people that you know. And this is really going out to not the freshmen, um, coming into college but anyone above like you know your sophomores juniors and seniors don't get so comfortable in the friend group that you have that you're not open to making new friends it's okay to have more than one group of friends it's okay to have more than one friend it's okay to put yourself out there and I think if I can do anything different I would also I would also form opinions about people on first hand basis I wouldn't let someone else tell me oh, well, this person's this or this person's that. Um, I think I would just, if I could go back, I would, you know, maybe hang out with that person or see, you know, at an event, you know, how they are. And then I'll make my own judgment and my own opinion on if I would want to converse or try to start a friendship with that person. Honestly, guys, I went through four years of college, or really four and a half, but the first two years I was on campus and the second two years I was off campus. But all of those four years and I came out with no like people that I would just say are my good close friends that I just, hey girl, like what you doing? You know, everyone that I know now is more of a catch up and all the friends that I do have are either from outside of school, outside of college, or from high school. Like my closest friends are still from high school. Um, and I think that, and even not even just friendships, mentors, um, 
just you know, people who are good to talk to, I feel like I came out with none of that, not even a network of people to say, hey, I met them while I was in college. And that's what college is mostly all about is networking. You've got, you guys have heard, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And from college, I don't know anybody. I think that's my number one regret because I feel like I, not cheated myself, but I feel like I could have done better at putting myself out there because it's, I, I kind of feel like the older you get, the harder it is to make friends. And when you're in college, especially as a freshman or, you know, underclassman, you, you're you put in all of these situations where you can meet people and you can make friends. And if you are saying, well, I don't, I don't need that. I have my friends. You may not come out with who you started with. So I think it's just really important to say, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep my options open. You know, nothing wrong with that. And you may find out that this friend is for this, this friend is for that, and that is okay too. So I think that's my end rant. I would just say, make sure that you keep your options open and, you know, have a clear mind and, and try to remove any prejudgment that you may have about someone, some group, something, and just try to form your own opinion about it. Yeah, I think that's everything, guys. So just a quick recap. I would just say, one, I wish I would have maybe looked, cl took a closer financial look at what college was going to cost me. Two, I wish I would have majored in something that I wanted to do more like I don't right now in my work I don't even use my degree so three I wouldn't even think about a committed relationship like no wouldn't even do it don't even do not recommend <laughs> four I would go oh, excuse me yeah four I would go to all the social events or um, maybe not all of them but I would just go to as many as I could that interest me uh, just to meet people and talk to people because there's going to be someone there that doesn't know anybody just like you don't know anybody and y'all may become friends and then five I would just keep myself open to meeting new people all right everyone so those are my top five regrets from my college days if you have any just input, comments, things you wish you could have done differently in college, drop them in the comments. I would love to know because I feel like I really just added myself. <laughs> but that's all, you know, I know there's someone else out there that probably needs to hear this or can relate. So I'm hoping that it can reach at least one person and encourage them to you know, maybe give some more thought to one of those things that I talked about. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Like, give me a like. I, I just, I think I deserve it, especially if you made it to the end. I think I deserve that like. And lastly, just go ahead and subscribe. We're almost at 50 subscribers and that is a lot to me right now, you know? So every little bit helps and go ahead and share this video. Maybe you know someone going into college this year. Maybe you can share this video with them, give them a few pointers or talk about some things or maybe it'll spark some conversation. That's always good too. So like, check, subscribe, check, share, check. And then I'll see you guys next time. I think that's, yeah, that covers everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.